guys and welcome back to another video for the order block strategy. So this is part four. Now part four, we're going to talk about market structure. Now the market structure section is the most important section that you'll need for this strategy because market structure and the market structure shift is all that we are going to be trading. So to start off with, we need to be able to mark our highs and our, our lows. So the way that we do that is we are going by a candle by candle basis. So let's focus on the, from here to here. Okay, let me get rid of there. So we are only going to focus on this point here. So we're going to start off with a weekly. And the reason why is because the weekly, daily and the four hour is where we get our overall bias from. Bear that in mind. The four hour and above is where our bias comes from. I like to do the weekly, uh, but you can go monthly. It's up to you how you wish to do it. For me, the weekly is high enough. So let's talk about it from this point and then we work on how to change uh, when to move our highs and lows. So on the weekly, they don't really change that often. But if we're talking about it from this point of view, is our high and our low is here. Okay, that's clear, right? So we've got a clear high and clear low. We are not, what we can see is although we're having breaks of structures, right? We're not going to move our highs and lows until this is broken. When you mark our highs and lows, this is known as a range, okay? And that is going to be our trading range. Let me, sorry, let me just make this a little bit lighter. There we go. So that, um, so these ranges, that's going to be our high and low, and this is our trading range. Okay. So from here, what we are thinking is um, that price is obviously bearish because it's just broken bearish structure. We don't need to worry about that just yet, but from this position, what we're looking at, price is obviously bearish. But then if you look at it from the left, yeah, it looks bearish. Okay. We only need to think about what we're going to do next in terms of the weekly bias until this range has been broken. But at this point, our bias is bearish. In terms of moving our, high, our highs and lows at this point using the weekly, we have just broken the high. So now we move our high to the, to the new high. Now, in terms of marking out your highs, you want to use the highest wick or the high and the, or the lowest wick for your low. Now that you marked out the high, because that's the structure that was broken, we need to find where the low actually was. Okay, so if we come down and if we go candle by candle basis, we want to see which which candle was broken. So if we can see it from this point of view, is we still create lows, 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 and then we create a high. So the low is now going to be this one. So that's our new low from this point. So that's our new trading range. Okay, now that we've broken the previous high, our bias has now gone bullish. So we're going to be looking for buys within this range. And obviously in terms of OBs, we can also see that we've got an OB sitting here. Okay, and that is pretty much where price, oh, sorry. That is pretty much where price has reacted to, okay? Almost, almost reached it. But that's pretty much where price has reacted to. But we're not going to talk about um, entries just yet. We're just going to talk about our highs and lows. So now we've broken our high again. So we're going to move our high to the most recent high, which is there. And we're going to find the low that was created. So what we can see is we create a low and then we create a high. So we create a low. I created a high at this point, right? This candle low was broken by this one. So that now becomes our low. So that is our low. In terms of our weekly, so this is our weekly range and the price is in our in our favor in terms of being bullish, right? The reason why it's being bullish is because it's broken bullish structure. Okay, simple as that. In terms of the weekly, when you mark out your weekly highs and lows, you won't actually be doing it that often if you think about it because they don't move that often. Okay, these are huge moves. So if I move price back to where it was, now that we've established, so at this point, now that we've established our weekly high and low, we're going to do the same thing on the daily. So we're going to establish our daily high and low. So 
from this point we can mark our daily highs and lows so let's move do it from this box again so our daily high is there and the low that was created was here the lowest point we only need to be um, moving our highs and lows when the structure has been broken the structure has been broken here so we're going to mark this as our high and our low from this point let me move this here and zoom in our low is what we can see is that's the high that was broke the structure and the lowest point is there because this candle low was broken by this so that is now our low and then we broke the high again okay so now our high is here price is still bullish in in this sense where's the low that was created was from here this candle low is broken by this one so our low oh sorry so our low is now here okay that's the lowest point now the low has been broken so now we can move our low to this candle low that was being made where's the high the high is fine where it is now the structure has been broken again so now this is our low and now the next high is going to be the highest point but the high is from here okay now we're going to wait until the, either one of these ranges are broken and what we can see is the high has been broken oh sorry what we can see is the high has been broken here where is the low this candle low was broken here if we move backwards remember to go backwards from whichever structure breaks so now this our low is going to be here this is our trading range and price is bullish at this point okay now so what i mean by that is we're going to be looking for buys and all you see is this is the order block right we refined it to this one we've got a liquidity wick price obviously rejected that and gone okay it's actually reacted here and then continued we created a buy we know sorry we created a new high which is here where we're going to find the low so the lowest point where the terms of the candle break is there so the lowest point is here now this way when we're going to talk about break of structure we like to have a candle break of structure not just a wick a wick for us is just a rejection but in terms of marking your highs and lows you're going to use the wicks as your lowest point but in this situation as this is the high that was created and that was a low we're not going to move anything until either one of these has been broken so don't worry about this when this happens now that we created a new high so we're going to move our high to this one we're going to find the low so the lowest point is now here so that is our new trading range from here to here on the daily we've now broken structure again we created this high okay because we've broken structure here by this body we're going to find the low which is now here so this is now a new trading range from here to here we have broken structure again to the upside and we're now we're going to move to the highest point where is our lowest point what we can see is this candle low is broken so that is our low and then we had this weird move down which broke this low even though it's a strange move it still broke the low and that is our low we're going to find the high so the high that was created was still the one that was still that was one here because this candle high was actually not broken by this candle or was it let's zoom in actually it was so our high is now going to be this one right because that body broke that candle high now what we can see is obviously a clear high break where is the low the low is still fine where it is now we broke again to the upside and we've created a high we're going to find the low so the low is now going to be here so that's now our trading range and that's the trade that i've just shown you that's the move i've just shown you and now we've created a new high which is here i don't know why i had that uh, rewind rewinded to be fair that's the high and now that is going to be your low so that's how you follow your highs and lows we're going to do the exact same thing on every single time frame now what i'm why do we do that you want to understand what range you are in okay you want to know where you are on every single time frame although i've removed for example where the weekly high and low were ideally you will want to keep it in i only moved it for the video's sake so we can see it clearer but you're going to have your weekly high and low marked on every single time frame so our weekly high at the moment is going to be here our weekly low is going to be this candle here okay and what you can do is um i don't know if i've got them saved still 
yeah so we've got our weekly low and we've got the weekly high so, okay if we go to the daily we're going to mark where our weekly high and low are oh, sorry our daily high and low are so you will have some overlap where you'll have um, the daily high which is here okay daily high is there um, daily high is this one and the daily low is going to be this one and again we can label that out so daily low okay same thing let's go to the four hour and look within this range okay where is the four hour high and where's the four hour low so the four hour high that was created was this one up here again you can see the overlap so the four hour high and then we're going to do the four hour low come down from that high you're going to all remember to always move backwards so now this is our low and that's the four hour low so four hour low is here and you can you can keep going down the time frames right the reason why we're marking the highs and lows is because these are our trading ranges so for example we create this four hour range right so you broke structure now this is our four hour range okay we broke the structure to the upside on the, on the last daily move and that was our daily range right price is bullish and we know that from various time frames now four hour daily weekly is where we get our buys from in the four hour our trading range is going to be from this low to this high okay from the daily our daily range is going to be from this low to this high okay and so on so you're going to follow what the bias is actually showing you you want to stick to the range that you're following so say for example if price breaks this structure yes price will be bull or bearish on the four hour but it will be still be bullish on the on the daily until this low has been broken right so just bear that in mind so we can do that for every single time frame even when you come down to doing your your entries which we'll talk about later on you're still going to mark out your highs and lows and we're going to trade off them by understanding what trend we are in which we're going to talk about in the next video but this is how you mark your highs and your lows